everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to be making this DIY duct tape woven Easter basket. This is a great DIY if you wanna to go to your Easter egg hunt and have the most unique Easter basket ever, or if you're a parent and you wanna make an Easter basket to put your kids candy in, or if you're someone like me and just enjoys making stuff like this. It really works for everybody. So before we get into this tutorial, I would like you guys to take one second to hit the subscribe button down below, and you can also click this link here to watch my most recent video. And if you're returning subscribers, thank you so much. I love you guys. So now let's just start off with the supplies. For the supplies, you will need a cutting mat, duct tape, clear tape, an X-Acto knife, a ruler, and optional is a pair of non-stick scissors. So the first thing we're going to be doing is starting on the bottom of our basket. So I am taking my white duct tape and I'm cutting out a strip that is 9 and 1 4th inches long. Now I'm just folding this over onto itself. And leaving some stickiness at the bottom and I'm just going to fold that back onto the white. Like so. And you're going to need eight of these. Now I'm taking my pastel colored duct tape and I'm cutting a strip that is six inches long. And then I'm just repeating the same process. So now that you've made your first strip, you are going to need 10 in your different colors. Once you're done that, you're going to line up all of your white strips and we're going to place our white duct tape at the top. I'm just placing it on the 1 4th mark and smoothing that down. You can cut away the excess. Now we're bringing in all of our strips and we're just going to start weaving. So now that you're done weaving, we're going to gently peel this up and I'm just flipping this over and I'm going to tighten the weave a little bit more. Now I'm going to bring in my clear tape and I'm just going to clear tape the entire inside. Once you're done that, you want to take your ruler and your X-Acto knife and just trim down this white part. and then just fold that over. And then I'm just going to trim the excess tape that I have. So now you should have something like this and this will be the bottom of your Easter basket. Once you finish the bottom of your Easter basket, you're going to want to make four more panels. These two are for the sides and these are five and a half inches tall and six and one fourth inches long. You're also going to need your two side panels and these will need to be nine inches long and five and a half inches tall. And on these panels, it's okay if you need to cut a strip in half because that's what I needed to do to get these measurements. So we're going to take our bottom piece and our white duct tape and I'm just placing this at the bottom, these sides here and then right here at the top. Once you're done that, you just wanna peel it up and flip it over. Cut boxes in these corners. And then trim down any excess that you might have to your desired length. Now that you should have something like this, we're going to bring in our other panels and we're just placing it on the adhesive that is showing. And cover the inside where the adhesive is showing. Now I'm going to flip this over 
and I'm going to add trims to the tops of these. And now I'm just folding that onto itself. Then once you're done that, you want to take some duct tape and put that onto the sides. And this is going to connect our whole basket together. And now we're just going to quickly make the strap for this. So right here I have a strip of pink that is 16 inches long and we're just going to do the same thing that we did for our woven pieces. Just going to fold it onto itself, leaving a little bit of sticky at the bottom. If you have any air bubbles like me, you can just poke a hole in it, fold over the rest of that tape. Now I'm taking my white and I'm just going to put a outline on this and then I'm just cutting this off and using it on this side. After that, you can just flip this up and just fold over any excess that you might have. I'm flipping it over so the white is facing me and then I'm putting some duct tape on the ends. Not doing any specific measurement. And then I'm bringing back in our basket and I'm just sticking the tape on the inside. Just gently press that down and then put this on the other side. Gently press it down and now you should have your very own DIY Easter basket. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really fun Easter DIY. If you enjoyed, definitely give this video a big thumbs up because I always appreciate it. If we could get this video to 80 likes, I would be extremely grateful. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're new here, definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to check out all of my links down below. That will take you to all of my social media accounts. And if you made this craft, definitely send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag SimplyNuckDesigns. Thank you all so much for watching once again. Have a very happy and safe Easter, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye, guys!